In this video, part 2 of installing MongoDB on Windows, we will specifically address starting as a Windows service. We will also cover stopping and removing the Windows service. We will assume that you followed the earlier instructions in the previous video to install MongoDB, extracting it to drive C, creating the data and log folders, and the Mongo config file. We will now need to open a command prompt, but as an administrator. From the Start menu, we go to All Programs, Accessories. We select Command Prompt and right-click. We then select Run as Administrator. After the security warning message, we now have a command prompt open as an administrator. We now execute the following command, c colon backslash mongodb, assuming that that is the directory folder name that you gave during the installation process, backslash bin, backslash mongod.exe, space, dash dash config, space, c colon backslash mongodb, backslash mongod.cfg, again assuming that that is the name and location of the configuration file that you created, and finally, space, dash dash install. You should then get a message indicating that the service was successfully created. You'll notice now that from the command line, you can now start the service using the command net start mongodb. And that is what we will do next. So as you can see, the MongoDB service has started. It was started successfully. And we can now manage this through the Windows Management menus. So let's now go to the Control Panel and see the service. We go to the Start menu. We select the Control Panel. From the Control Panel, we then go to Administrative Tools. From there, we can go to Services. If we move down the list, you'll notice that MongoDB is listed as a service. We can then make changes, including having the service start automatically on this particular machine. Now that MongoDB has started as a service, we can then access the MongoDB instance by simply executing the Mongo command. We type in c colon backslash MongoDB backslash bin backslash mongo.exe. As before, we are connected to test. We can then use the built-in database. We type in use space mydb. From there, we can add a test record. In this case, we will type in db.test.save, open parentheses, open brace or curly bracket, a colon two, close brace or curly bracket, close parentheses. We can then find the test records. To do that, we type in db.test.find, open close parentheses. We now have two test records, one created from the previous video. To exit the MongoDB shell, we simply type in exit. To stop the MongoDB instance from the command prompt, it's simply a matter of typing net stop MongoDB. Again, it's very important to note that this command can only be executed as an administrator. Alternatively, we could go into the Control Panel, Administrative Tools, Services, and we could stop the MongoDB instance from there. To remove the MongoDB service from the command line, you could type the following. C colon backslash MongoDB backslash bin backslash MongoD.exe space dash dash remove. This will then remove MongoDB as a service. Likewise, you could use the tools within the Windows Control Panel to do the same thing. This concludes Part 2 of installing MongoDB on Windows. In review, you need to first of all download the correct version from the mongodb.org website. From the command line, you can run wmic space os space get space os architecture to find out which version of Windows you are running in order to select the appropriate version for download. The versions which are available are MongoDB for Windows Server 2008 R2, which is specific to that environment. Otherwise, if you have a 64-bit version of Windows other than Windows XP, you can download MongoDB for Windows 64-bit. If you have an older version of Windows, you can download MongoDB for Windows 32-bit. Please note that Windows XP and versions below that are not supported by MongoDB. It's also important to note that for Windows Server 2008 R2 or Windows 7, you need to install the hotfix 273.1284. Next, you would extract the files to drive C. 
it's recommended that you rename the folder so that it's more easily remembered. A suggested name would be simply MongoDB. MongoDB is self-contained and there are no external dependencies. Next, you would create data and log folders. The recommended paths would be c colon backslash data backslash db. The recommended place for the log file would be a log folder you could create off of your MongoDB folder. Next, you create a MongoDB configuration file. The configuration file is recommended to be named mongod.cfg directly off of the root of your MongoDB installation. You can create this log file by echoing this command log path equals c colon backslash and then your path to your MongoDB installation backslash log backslash mongo.log. Use the overwrite symbol greater than sign and indicate the configuration file name and path. This will then create the configuration file and add one single entry which points to the log path. You can then start MongoDB from the command prompt by simply typing in mongod.exe. If you are using another data folder other than c colon backslash data backslash db, you can indicate that by saying mongod space dash dash db path space and then the path to your other data folder in quotes. MongoDB can also be started as a Windows service. The way to do this is to issue the mongod command space dash dash config followed by the path to the mongo configuration file space dash dash install. You can then type in net start mongodb to start the service. When you open the command prompt, you must open it as an administrator user. You can also administer the mongodb service from the Windows control panel using the appropriate administrative tools. You can stop the mongodb Windows service from the command line by typing in net stop mongodb. To remove it, you issue the mongod.exe command with an option space dash dash remove. To connect to the mongodb instance from a command prompt, you can then test your mongodb installation by opening another command prompt. This can be as a normal user. You can then type in the mongo.exe command. This will then connect you to a default database called test. You can use the built-in database by typing in use mydb. You can save a test document by issuing the command db.test.save. In parentheses, you would indicate your first document. Open curly brace, a colon one, close curly brace. This will create a document with a field a, which has a value of one. You can then view the documents within this collection by typing in db.test.find, open close parentheses. This concludes our discussion of installing MongoDB on Windows.